And as always, we ask you to be mindful of those that are sick and shut in today, and we especially want you to lift up the name of Reverend Ron Green. We also pray this morning for you, Lady Powell, who's with us this morning. Amen. For Dennis Powell, for Fonzo Conyers, his family. As you know, we will be funeralizing him on the 13th, but please continue to pray for his family. Pray for Mary Jackson, for Thelma Lapkin, who's also here this morning. Diane Carroll, who's here this morning as well. And Jaquetta Harrison, who's always here. Amen. For Raymond Simons, with us this morning. For Pat Simons, my Lord Whitney, Irving Shepherd, Donna Kinsey, who is with us this morning. Amen. Alice Poinsett Frazier, Herman Gathers, Herman Rivers, Michael Moulton, James Moulton, Kathleen White Singleton. Amen. The Queen is here too. Amen. For Annie Talbot and family. The Foster family, the Brown family, Hilda and Marion Cromwell, Barbara Harrison, and we ask a special prayer for Greta Smith, her family. As we may remember her, she used to work with our choir years ago when she passed on last week and will be funeralized this coming week, so please keep her family in prayer. I know that there are others that you are concerned about this morning, and as always, we ask that you lift those names up, that they may be included in all of our prayers. Are they in this morning? Kenneth and Laura Washington. inclined to come to the altar this morning, we invite you to come right now. We're going to ask that you would bow your heads and pray with the Reverend Paul Johnson as he comes, leads us in our morning prayer. Thank God for Resurrection Sunday. Let us bow our heads. O oh, merciful Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, God, thank you so much for being the great and almighty sovereign God that you are. Thank you for loving us so much, even in our sins, that you send your son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross and was crucified and rose on the third day, in which we now are so grateful. We call it Resurrection Day. Thank God that you rose. God, even now, with our heads bowed and our hearts lifted up, and our hands spread forth to heaven. We just want to ask and invoke your presence this day. God, for being so good to us. Another day journey, and we're so glad. God, we ask you to touch now those that are sick, those that are shut in, and thank you for the recovery. God, for those whom you've healed. 
God, we pray that you would give comfort to the bereaved family now. Let them know that you are comfort. God, that you are present help in the time of trouble. You are our refuge, a strong tower. God, in this, we bless your holy and righteous name. God, we pray that those that are not here and wish to be here, send this prayer long distance. God, that you are omnipresent, God. You are everywhere at the same time. You are the omniscient God, the all-knowing God. You are the omnipotent God, the all-powerful God. God, we stretch our hands to thee. The Lord will end up, we know. Thou will draw the hand of the, the winner, shall we go. Now, God, we thank you for being in our hearts. We thank you, God, for being with us even when we don't know. You blessed us. As the Israel said, God, that you've been with us all the time. God, as we are about to pursue this journey of this resurrection, the messenger from your message to your people, God, we receive it now with thanksgiving. God, when we leave, we can say, did not our hearts burn as the man of God spoke to us by the wayside. And God, every single person under the sound of my voice and the family that we represent, touch now. Shower your blessing, your protection, and your guidance. God, let us know that you're with us and you'll never leave us or forsake us. And with this, we say thank you. We bless your holy and righteous name. To God be the glory. In the matchless, wonderful name of Jesus Christ, we pray. And the church say amen, 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 amen. And may the peace of God be with you.
morning. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Amen. This morning's gospel scripture is coming from the gospel of John, the 20th chapter, the first verse through the 18th. Please stand for the gospel. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. <coughs> then Peter and the other disciples set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head not lying with the linen wrappings but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. The word of God for the people of God. I am sure the God. God.
we're going to turn the service over to our children as they share with you their understanding of the Easter story. Good morning. Good morning and happy Resurrection Day. Our children and your children will share with you this morning messages of God. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. We will have our prayer. Thank you. 
Well, good morning. His name is Preston. <laughs> there is no gloom in the tomb, for Jesus is risen today. Thank you.
greet you in the name of Jesus, the resurrected Lord. For Christ has risen. Christ has risen indeed. Amen. Amen. I want to thank our children once again. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. They all go to God. Amen. Amen. And a car.
listen to the crowd turn on him, shouting, crucify him, crucify him. They grimaced in disbelief all night long as he was chastised, as he was beaten, as he was slapped, as he was spat upon, as he was whipped, as he was tormented. And on Friday, they watched him as he struggled to carry his cross to the place of the skulls. They watched as they nailed him to the cross. And finally, they watched him die. That was not a good day. In response, they ran in fear and hid themselves. Because in the minds of all those who followed Christ, the light of the world had been snuffed out. And so John writes, while it was still dark. My friends, sometimes when things are at their darkest, we must remember the promise of God. Sometimes when things are at the darkness, we must always remember that God keeps his promises. When things are at their darkness, we must always tell ourselves that God never leaves us or forsakes us. He told Mary and the disciples that he would rise again, but as things unfolded, as things got dark, they forgot about what Jesus had said. They forgot about Sunday morning. Even though Jesus told them time and time again that on the third day I will rise, they had a hard time believing because darkness had overwhelmed them. Darkness can overwhelm us. Darkness, if we're not careful, can hide the face of Jesus from us. It can even cause us to, to, to have temporary amnesia when it comes to God's word and God's promises. Sometimes we forget about the love and kindness that he has already imparted upon us. Sometimes we forget about how he brought us through our trials and tribulations, how he brought us through when our world was turned upside down, how he brought us through when our boats were being tossed back and forth by the winds and waves of trials and tribulations. When darkness comes, don't ever forget how, Lord, how the Lord brought you through. When darkness comes, don't ever forget how he stood up in the, in the midst of your storms and said, peace be still. Don't forget God's grace. Don't forget God's mercy. Don't forget that Sunday is coming. Sunday came. And as the sun began to rise, the clouds slowly parted. And Jesus stood up and walked out of the tomb. Resurrection took place and Jesus was alive. Now, in reality, no one knows how the resurrection took place because nobody was there. No one was in the cave when, when, when Jesus was resurrected. No one actually saw what happened. And there are no accounts in the Bible as what took place in the darkness of Jesus' tomb. So we can only speculate that, that maybe it happened like a flash of light. Maybe God himself came down and touched Jesus and said, get up. Maybe he just sent the angels and, and, and the angels grabbed him by the arm and pulled him up. We can only speculate because none of the gospel records tell us what actually happened. No one was with Jesus in the tomb. Not even the guards that were set there to, 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 to watch over him. Not any of them even reported that they heard anything or saw anything. They saw the angels when they came, but that was all that they saw. All we know is that early Sunday morning, in the silence and darkness, Jesus stood up. All we know is that he stripped off his burial clothing, folded them, and waited for the angels to roll the stone away. And this is why today we celebrate this Easter morning. We, with all of God's children, we say with uplifted voices that Christ has risen. Christ is risen indeed. We celebrate resurrection today. We celebrate resurrection because we are children of the resurrection. 
That means we don't have to walk in darkness. That means that we don't have to walk around with our heads hung low. That means that nothing can hold us down. The grave couldn't hold Jesus. Trials and tribulations can't hold us. Because Jesus gave us power. Power. Wonder working power. His power rolls away the stones that seek to keep us captive, the stones of doubt, the stones of sickness, the stones of depression, the stones of loneliness, the stones of confusion, the stones of hatred. We are children of the resurrection. Jesus is alive. And nothing has power or control over us. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.
matter what you're going through, no matter what you do, you will rise. Because our hand is in the hand of the resurrected Lord. We want to thank uh, Diane and Jaquetta for the Easter lily. We appreciate you donating those to us so much. Let's give them a hand. Thank you. out on yesterday and brought your children to rehearsal. We appreciate all the hard work and you know that you know I've been there. I had that small kids at one time. I know it's no easy feat. But thank you for doing that parents and we want to thank all of those that worked with the kids on yesterday. And they don't know I was watching over them. <laughs> yeah. We got cameras everywhere now, so uh, got triggered a few times, and I had to make some phone calls to say. <laughs> anyway, again, we just thank you for all that you do. God bless you, and we pray that you are going to have a wonderful rest of your day. Shall we look to God? Lord, we thank you for this Resurrection Sunday. Thank you for reminding us that we are children of the resurrection. The grave couldn't hold Jesus. And when our time comes, the grave will not hold us. But the resurrection power goes far beyond the grave, Lord, for even right now, we can rise above whatever it is that's trying to hold us up. We thank you in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we ask that you would dismiss us now in your peace. Amen, amen, amen.